Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're adding our sprinting state to our state machine and creating our sprinting animation. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. Our first goal will be to add a new state to our state machine for our sprint. Let's head to the FPS controller scene and add a new node to our player state machine called sprinting player state. Then let's attach a new script to our new node that inherits from our state class script. Before we jump into our script, let's also add our input mapping for our sprint. Head to project, project settings, input map, then add a new action for sprint and we'll use the shift key for our input. Back in our script, we'll add our class name, sprinting player state, and the following export variables like we did for our walking state. Animation will reference our animation player node and our top animation speed will set our animation playback rate. Remember for our walking state, we dynamically change the animation playback based on our velocity. We'll do the same for our sprint. When we enter our sprinting state, we want to play our sprinting animation, which we're gonna be creating in a minute. First, we'll add our set animation speed function from our walking state. Again, this function takes our player's velocity and maps it to a zero to one alpha lerp that will adjust the speed scale of our animation. With that in place, we'll run this function every frame with our update function. However, we'll need to use a different speed setting than default because we'll be moving faster when we sprint. Let's head to our player controller script and add a new speed variable for sprint that equals seven. Then we can adjust our function to use our sprint speed. And while we're working on our speed setting, we also need to adjust our speed when we change between our states. To do that, we'll add this line in our enter function, which will change our max speed in our player controller script. We'll also need to do the same thing in our walking state to reset our default speed. Finally, we need a way to exit our sprinting state. Here we'll add another built-in function, input, where we'll check if we release our sprint input action. If we do, we'll return to our walking state. Then back in our walking state, we do the same thing by adding an input function to check if we press our sprint input action. And if we do, we then transition to sprinting. The sprinting animation will follow the same procedure we used in our walking animation video. Check that video out to get a more detailed walkthrough. For our sprints, we'll add a new animation called sprint in our animation player. For this, we're going to animate our camera 3D node position. Our animation will also use a Bezier track and feature what is essentially two sine waves to create a figure eight motion for our camera. There are other ways to create a sprint animation feel, so adjust this to your needs. Now when we test our scene, we can check our state and test our sprint key. You should have a faster movement, our sprint animation, and be able to transition smoothly between walking and sprinting. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider it a like and subscribe to the channel as we're gonna be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the written tutorials and the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.